this year we saw a lot. Uh, the crypto markets really came alive. The NFT revolution. Uh, we saw DeFi go crazy. It went from I think 10 billion of market cap to 100. We saw 10.5 billion dollars worth of loss uh, in DeFi uh, because of scams and bad software and all kinds of problems. Uh, we saw yet another year of COVID madness, uh, where the world continued to linger and being shut down. Goalposts continue to be moved. We all got vaccinated in the U.S., and that doesn't count. Still have to do everything we did in 2020. So it's uh, it's been tough. It's been incredible. Uh, it's been great. It's been terrible. It's in everything in between. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for daily videos on everything going on in cryptocurrency. Founder of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, has just issued a major warning to the cryptocurrency industry in 2022. He also offers a solution, and he also talks about Cardano's role and Cardano's big plans in 2022. This video will update you on everything that you need to be paying attention to. Check the timestamps below. Make sure you watch the entire video because I have three clips that I need you to see. And if you appreciate me breaking this down, take two seconds, like the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you part of the team. We drop one video every day, demystifying the cryptocurrency market. We keep you informed on a daily basis. Let's do it. Let's jump to clip number one. The cryptocurrency industry, according to Charles Hoskinson, has two huge problems. The first problem comes from the outside. Crypto's first problem comes from the outside. It is that they will continue to lie to the general public about cryptocurrency in 2022. I'm talking about Congress, Senate, politicians will continue to lie to you about cryptocurrency. The mainstream media will continue to promote fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and will rarely mention good things about crypto. It is because cryptocurrency is directly challenging their centralized authority. So, the first problem that cryptocurrency has to deal with in 2022 comes from the outside. Listen to this. I caution every single person going into 2022, our success as an industry will be tested. It has to be, because if we succeed, we will change the power structures of humanity itself. There's going to be lots of scrutiny, misinformation, lies, and other things told by the legacy system. We already see it. We see people in the Congress, we see people in transnational bodies say that the only use and utility of cryptocurrencies is money laundering, child pornography, evading sanctions, all kinds of negative conduct and consequences. But yet they never mention all the good things. The fact that we can transform and change people's lives, give them economic agency that they lack. They never mention that the legacy system takes 3 billion people and casts them into perpetual poverty. They don't mention that. They don't mention that the legacy system enables the wealthy and powerful to work with the very criminal elements they purport to want to destroy and suffer no criminality. They get away with it. And when we expose that, it's very inconvenient, very uncomfortable for them. But you cannot perpetuate a lie forever. And you have to ask yourself, how stable are institutions and structures that are built on a house of cards. They may have lofty titles. They may have legacy and history, some cases stretching back centuries, if not thousands of years. But if the core is hollow and the foundations are corrupted, corroded, cracked, decaying, then all you need is a little bit of a push. And that's effectively what we are collectively doing as an industry. We're giving the human race a little bit of a push. Not a big one, but enough. Enough to see what's on the inside of these institutions, how the sausage is made. Problem number two comes from the inside. Problem number two for the cryptocurrency industry comes from within. The cryptocurrency industry itself has promised a lot. 
the cryptocurrency industry itself has written a pretty big check. Listen to this. We have a pretty big check we wrote as an industry. If you look at the valuation, $2 trillion, you look at the statements, the books, the articles, the blog posts, the videos, the courses, they all say the same thing. Change the world, change the world, change everything, reimagine everything. Decentralization. And that's what we were promised. And what did we get? Pictures of rocks that sell for a million dollars. Buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. Networks that purport to be centralized, but when they stop working, somebody kicks them to restart them. But hey, great returns, right? So yeah, just keep doing that. And billions of dollars of losses because of incompetence and malice, willful theft and criminal conduct, and a mentality that it's better to be first than best. That is a pretty big check that we've written as an industry and we haven't cashed it. Somebody has to. Let's talk about the solution to these problems. In 2022, if you want to know which projects are the quality ones, which projects you can best focus your time on, which projects will stand the test of time, focus on fundamentals and merits. Look for cryptocurrency projects that are gearing themselves to be resilient and decentralized. Don't let them distract you with FUD and scapegoats. Listen to this. There's a very good reason why Satoshi left. And for that reason alone, it's why Bitcoin is so strong. You see, it's so easy in society to put somebody at the top and say that person's the leader. And then you can centralize all of your criticism and attacks and personify the effort according to the person at the top. Don't like Catholicism? Well, attack the Pope. That's a good starting point. Pretty good assault. And equivalently, for corporations, protocols, ideologies, you always try to attack the person at the top. If there's no one at the top, then you have a much harder task in front of you, which is you have to attack the philosophy, the merits. You have to argue against what we stand for. And how can you argue against liberty and freedom? How can you argue against the desire for equality and for people to be treated fairly? How can you argue against applying innovation towards making people's lives better? Global markets where each and every person is respected. There aren't double standards. There isn't cynicism. There isn't this attitude of, well, that's just the way it's done. There aren't special actors who get to go in through the back door while we all have to wait in line in the front door. How can you argue against that? What are you going to argue? Technical merits? How do you argue against hundreds of papers written with the same science that has given us the modern world? How do you argue against an open source project that has no face? You can't. So the attempt will always be to personify, to demonize, and each and every project in the cryptocurrency space has already been tested. The leadership of each and every project has been attacked. Look at Twitter and what they do. Look at the media and what they do. And that's why it's so pivotal that we continue the relentless march towards building a proper open source project. It's our biggest challenge next year. You want fast delivery. You want high quality code. At the same time, you want resilience, decentralization, facelessness. These things often are at odds with each other. Inclusivity slows you down because you have to wait for everybody to speak. Inclusivity also means that some people participating will lead you astray and down roads that are confusing and in many cases actually harm the project. Yet somehow you have to have an immune system to take the good with the bad because that is the only way. Let's talk about Cardano, because Cardano is gearing up for a huge 2022. But if Cardano is to be successful in 2022, the efforts need to come not from the top, not from the top few, but from the many. The efforts need to come not just from Charles himself, but from everyone. Listen to this. There are 
almost 15 companies working on Cardano right now across the world. Sun never sets on the project. We need to make that hundreds and then eventually thousands. We need institutions like universities and nation states to actively cooperate and collaborate and have a stake in the success of this project if we truly intend on transforming the world. But you cannot have a mentality that Charles Hoskinson is going to sit up on an ivory tower and figure it out. I do what I can. I'll endow institutions just like I did the Hoskinson Center. In that case, it was for the field of mathematics. But more will come specifically for Cardano from standards to science. We'll collaborate and work with best in class open source organizations. We'll open up checkbook and cut checks for tens of millions of dollars if necessary. And we'll continue funding our developers to do our part. But if you really want the world I preach, you preach, you have to give it a bit of a push. Get your own communities involved. Could be the county council, could be a small city, could be your company. If you're a software company, assign an engineer to the open source project. If he doesn't know how to do it, we can find a way to train him or her, get it done. If you have the means, build a project on Cardano. Showcase the power of decentralization. If you're an educator, teach about it. That's how I got started in the cryptocurrency space. Created a little class called Bitcoin or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love Crypto because I like Peter Sellers, Dr. Strangelove. Do the same. Cardano or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love Crypto. Each and every one of you has a part to play and what's to come. And if we work together, we'll get it done together. Finally, perhaps the most important clip from today's video, let's listen to Charles's final message to Cardano holders and crypto participants in 2022. If you got value in this video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, join the team. We drop one video every day, demystifying the cryptocurrency market. 2022 is going to be huge, and I'm thankful we have leaders like this at the forefront. It is encouraging. And now what's so encouraging is we're reinvigorated by the wave of 127 projects launching on Cardano. Each and every one of them cares about our protocol. Each and every one of them cares about the vision, the mission, the dreams. And each and every one matters. And some of them will grow to be just as large as my company. And they'll be able to carry the load too. That's real decentralization. And how do you bet against that? I oftentimes see all these people blabbering away into the wind. Deaf idiots. Can't even hear the moronic voices that they shout at with about how we must do it now. First mover advantage. It must happen now. If you don't get adoption today, right here in this particular way, or burn tokens in this particular way, by the way, the tokens are all distributed. Who the fuck would we burn? You'd have to steal money from people. I hear them babbling into the wind day in and day out, not understanding that if this is to be successful, you must follow the path we're following. Inclusivity, debate, decentralization. Solid foundations where the rug doesn't get pulled from you again and again. Caring a lot about quality. Caring a lot about making sure everyone moves together. And when people come, seeing if they leave or stay. That is how you build something special. And that's how you're around in five years or 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or 25 years. And that's what I signed up for. That's what we told everybody the Cardano project was all about. And a lot of you signed up for that too. So when we look to that 127, that's another one of the pushes. They're going to need some help too. Some of them are going to need some marketing help. Some of them are going to need some help with technology. Some of them are going to need some help with strategy. Some of them are going to need some help, if anything, emotional support. But every single one of these project founders that are now the first cohort coming on Cardano and turning on, they're going to go through great struggles. 
they're going to suffer intense criticism. They're going to suffer ridicule. They're going to have tech that doesn't work, timelines that are not met. They need a helping hand too. They need emotional support too. They need your well wishes too. In many cases, more so than me. So make sure to include them too in your thoughts, prayers, and communications and work with them if you can. Participate in Catalyst if you can. All the time, people come to me and say, how do I get started with Cardano? It's real easy. Catalyst. Just that simple. Learn about idea scale. Go there and see how vibrant the community is. It's bizarre that Silicon Valley, these VCs that purport to be so attuned with the next big thing and where growth is, haven't even heard about Catalyst. We tell them, they go on and they see it and they say, wow, there's actually people here. Wow, look at all these messages. Look at all these debates, these conversations. And these are all different people. You didn't have to pay for it. They just came. They just showed up. My Lord, there's something here. They're amazed because they too, just like you and me, they're not any brighter, not any more special. And they're, of course, susceptible to groupthink. And they have inflicted upon the world this philosophy of move fast and break things, forgetting that the world was built by the opposite philosophy, slow and steady, with honesty and integrity. So 2022 is going to be a hell of a year. In many respects, it's going to be the best. And in many respects, it's going to be the toughest. There's going to be a lot of hits, some from unpredictable places, because that's what happens Welcome to crypto, some from the usual suspects, but we're one big family now. We're all together in this, and we've seen the promised land together, and I want to get there, and I know we can. So we just have to keep the faith, we have to work together, and we have to support each other, not just me, but everybody. And we have to look at each and every day as an opportunity to be even better than the day before. 